as we've seen in South Africa, uh, particularly with, 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 with COVID and um, the, the uh, riots that we saw in, in, in KwaZulu-Natal, the, the lifeline to, to our country is getting things in and getting things out. And the majority of where that comes through is through our ports. So as soon as we have disruption in our, in, in our country, we start locking down our, our lifeline is through our ports. Uh, and I got involved with, uh, with uh, the port authorities during that to try and help them understand, you know, how can we solve this problem? And the biggest challenge was, was we were working from day to day. Oh, we, we, we missed so many. We weren't able to move so many containers, etc. working from day to day. So what we needed to do is really understand what was, what was the size of the problem? What are the options that we had? How big is that backlog? And how do we need to do things? So we developed what we call a control tower, as you can see over there, looking at, at, at four, the, the six areas, so vessels coming in and out, what trucks we had. Uh, particularly, it wasn't only just physical trucks, because as we know, a lot of trucks actually got burnt. Um, and on top of that, uh, people were, truck drivers were very scared to go and drive that. And on top of that, we couldn't move the trucks around because of the disruption, trying to get, uh, you know, trucks up the N3, where there was quite a lot of disturbances going on, was, was, was really difficult to do. And then also understanding what we can move by rail. And then on top of that is to say, you know, how much storage capacity, you know, you can't just keep on bringing in containers or taking out containers and not understanding where that storage is. And then physically, how much can we move from the water side to the land side and from the land side onto those, those those transports and trying to coordinate it and have that visibility and understand where those challenges were, 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 were extremely challenging so what we did is we created what we call a dashboard and through that technology we were able to see exactly where what was moving how it was moving what the truck moves was where the rails were where the bottlenecks were and how big that backlog was and what did we need to do and how did we engage the various parties and authorities to start clearing the ways and, and, and working together as a team to, to, to looking after the backlog. So that just gives you an idea. We need to have that visibility before we, before we can act. So visibility re really key.